Hey everybody and welcome to episode 350 of Unboxing Wednesdays uh, for comics arriving in stores on Wednesday, July 12th, 2017. Where is the confetti and balloons that I ordered uh, for this 350th episode? I, I specifically said 350 blue and white balloons, the colors of Stadium Comics, and um, uh, 35, because you know 350 is an insane amount, 35 white doves. And uh, I don't see any of that. What happened? I got robbed on the way here. So. You got robbed. Somebody stole. 350 blue and white balloons and 35 white doves yep. from you. Yeah, 100%. That's BS, man. You uh, you well, slept in and, and <laughs> didn't pick up the order, right? You believe what you want to believe. Yeah. All right. Anyway, it's our 350th episode. Thanks, everybody, for uh, watching us, even if this is your first episode uh, or your last episode. And if it's your last episode, I guess bye. Whatever. Stick around, man. Yeah, stick around. <laughs> There's lots more episodes. Don't worry. Um, uh, but yeah, it's been a blast. 350 episodes, Ricky. Three, maybe, you know, we must be getting close to your 300th episode. Probably. We should do something for that to celebrate Ricky's 300th episode. Because he joined us around uh, the 50s, in the 50s somewhere, Something right? Like oh, I'll have to go back and research that uh, some other time. A um, couple things I want to talk about, and uh, a couple things we'll talk about as far as Ricky's concerned. First off, we uh, have just launched pre-orders on our uh, Your Pal Archie Number no. 1 exclusive variant, which is a tribute, an homage, if you will, to Hulk 181, the first appearance of Wolverine. This is the second uh, variant we've done like this. The first one, of course, was Betty and Veronica. And uh, sales on that book have exploded uh, over the last year or so. And uh, Ricky, I gotta tell you, since we put this uh, book up for pre-order on Tuesday, sales have been quite brisk on this one as well. There's only 500 that are going to be printed total. Uh, it is an amazing cover by Marco Delfonso once again. That kid's excited about it. And um, you know, uh, we, we're only selling a limited amount of them online. And we're getting down to like um, the last few of them that are available. Uh, so hopefully by the time this this airs, it's not uh, completely sold out of our online pre-order. The book comes out at the end of the month, and you can pick up your copy uh, right now by going to stadiumcomics.com. We'll put the link down in the description below. And uh, the book is $29.99, but there's only 500 that are going to be printed. Uh, so you want to pick that up. Uh, if you are into awesome things that are probably going to gain a lot of value in the future. Uh, Ricky, Montreal Comic Con this past weekend, yeah, how was man. that? It's good times, man. It was so awesome just to hang out and see everyone. So people came by to watch the show. Yeah? Yeah. Any shout outs you need to give? Or? Uh, I didn't get names. Nice. Because when you're at a con... Didn't get names and didn't get the doves or the balloons, yeah. people. When you're at a con, you don't deal with names. It's all like, hey man. That's it. Doesn't Everyone's do man. And then the last thing, I want to just talk about your Kickstarter. Ricky, your Kickstarter is rolling right along. Yeah. How many days we got left in this we campaign? Got 20 days left and we hit 50%. So nice. Well done. Let's keep going, people. Well done. Don't yeah. don't let that be a uh, uh, a call for you to, to take the foot off the gas out there, people. Uh, if anything, let's let's try let's to more gas. let's try to get more gas on that. <laughs> Let's put a brick down on that gas pedal and watch that car speed over a cliff, but not like to destroy the car, to like Either way, man. <laughs> successfully jump over a cliff so that oh, yeah, yeah. your campaign is funded. I don't know. Um, no, but if you, haven't, if you haven't contributed yet, link is down in the description. You can check out all the awesome stuff that comes along with contributing to that campaign. All right, Ricky, let's go ahead and open up some boxes. I don't usually jump to a Marvel book right away when we get uh, into showing off the comics. I wanted to uh, show you guys Uncanny Avengers number 25. It's a special reason I'm showing this book. It's because our uh, good friend uh, and illustrator Janoy Lindsay, uh, his art is in the interior of this book. And to celebrate today at Stadium Comics, um, on Wednesday, July 12th, we are having a signing with Genoa. He's going to be signing copies of this book from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Uh, so come on down if you've got a chance. 
uh, during the daytime here uh, to grab a copy of this book and get it signed by Janoy. It's uh, awesome to see Janoy's work appearing in uh, Marvel book. And I know we can expect a lot of great things from Janoy in the future. Uh, and I'm sure he's going to get the chance to work on a ton of different titles. All right, first up today we've got Optimus Prime, issue number nine from IDW. Josie and the Pussycats, number eight. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, number 56. From Black Mask, we have Last Song, issue number one. We've got a new horror book from IDW. It is Diablo House, issue number one. Animosity, The Rise, issue number two. We all know about Brexit. Uh, what if California decided to cede from the United States of America. Well, that's where you have Black Mask's Cal Exit, issue number one. Here's a couple of covers for that book. We've had a lot of requests for this book at the shop. It is Skin and Earth, issue one, from Dynamite. And uh, the reason for the popularity of this book is it is uh, written, illustrated, and lettered by uh, performing artist Lights, who is a favorite here in the Toronto area. Uh, Canadian uh, uh, musician uh, who's also known internationally as well um, but a lot of people very excited about this book and uh, I'm looking forward to checking it out as well I, I had no idea I knew Lights was in the comic books I didn't know that uh, she was uh, as artistic I guess uh, well she's an artistic person because she's a musician but didn't know that she was um, as good an illustrator as what we see here. Okay, moving over to Marvel, we've got Old Man Logan issue number 26 and Rocket number 3 drawn by another good friend of ours, Adam Gorham. Deadpool issue 33. Here's the Jim Lee trading card variant. X-Men Blue number 7. That also comes with a Jim Lee variant. Here is the Jim Lee variant for Uncanny Avengers, which I showed you guys at the beginning of the comics. Weapon X number 5 carries on the Weapons of Mutant Destruction storyline. Here's Dr. Aphra number 9. Venom number 152. Zombies Assemble issue 0. And here is issue 2 of Edge of Venomverse. Uh, not sure what to call this character. Is it Gwenampool? Venpool? Gwenampool, maybe. I think Gwenampool. Here's the Ron Lim variant for that book. And a lot of people are excited about this. It is the return of Spider-Man in Spider-Man 2. Uh, written again by Brian Michael Bendis and illustrated by Sarah Pacelli. This is the regular cover. Here's one of the variants. And another variant. And another variant available for this book. We also have Defenders number 3 new today. And Amazing Spider-Man number 30. This is the regular cover. And the uh, awesome uh, Jim Lee trading card variant cover. From Vertigo Comics we have American Way number one. From DC and Boom Studios we have Planet of the Apes Green Lantern issue six of six. New Superman number 13, Superwoman number 12, Justice League of America number 10, Titans number 13, Batgirl and the Birds of Prey number 12, Action Comics 983, Suicide Squad number 21, Red Hood and the Outlaws number 12, Detective Comics 960, The Flash number 26, Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps number 24, Wonder Woman 26, we've got a couple covers for that book, a second printing of Dark Days The Forge, uh, which is a prelude to metal, and then new today it's the uh, second prelude to metal, it's Dark Days The Casting, issue number one. Here's one of the covers. Here's the Andy Kubert cover, and here of course is the shiny foil and metal Jim Lee cover for the casting. Alright guys, prize time obviously when you see this face, you know you're getting some prizes. Uh, I asked you for your best fake spoiler for Spider-Man Homecoming, you got some pretty awesome answers. Ken Ives said fake spoiler, Spider-Man falls from the Brooklyn Bridge, but his web shooters malfunction. Suddenly, Spider-Gwen swings down and catches him, saving his life. Ooh, a little reversal there. Uh, Stephanie U. Dave said, fake spoiler, the robbers were actually the Avengers. The robbers, of course, are those robbers from the trailer, who Spider-Man's like, well, you're not the Avengers, but it is, and he apparently kicks all of their butts. Dominic Rocco said at the end of Spider-Man movie, Peter walks away from the screen with Mary Jane, and suddenly you see another Peter standing there, Clone Saga, next movie. Ooh, you know, I'd, I'd be down for a clone saga. I could, I could see that. Um, Uncle Jesse said, fake spoiler alert, Peter Parker picks a peck of pickled peppers five times fast, and then there's a bunch of inappropriate kissing by people in masks. So, I don't know if the kids will be into that, but you know what? 
as long as you get some uh, pickled peppers out of it, I'm down. Uh, Luke Marcio said, my fake spoiler, Spider-Man eats a lot of food and becomes a and becomes diabetes man and his costume doesn't fit so it's just his stomach and then the vulture uses his wing and punctures a hole and spider-man make him deflate like a balloon letting out air and then they fall to the ground and that's the whole movie uh, I mean what <laughs> uh, if you eat a lot of food funny enough you don't actually become full of air you become full of meat so I don't know if you would deflate as opposed to just bleed out. I mean, that's probably what would happen. But the winner goes to Bradley Gill, who said, fake spoiler, Eddie Brock or Miles Morales shows up as a new kid in Peter's class in the end credit scene. Oh man, I I would love it if it was Eddie Brock, like he walks in and he's like kind of jacked, but not like totally jacked. And he kind of looks like Peter Parker. I love it. So congratulations, Bradley Gill, you'll be entered into the draw at the end of the month. So this week we're going to be talking about Spider-Man 2. The question is actually right there on the cover. Who is the other Miles? So I'd like to let, I'd like to know from you in the comments who is the other Miles. Perhaps what's his backstory, what's going on. Uh, for me, I think the other Miles is uh, Tails Miles. Miles Tails, I don't know, from the Sonic Universe. So uh, he got bitten by a radioactive spider in the Sonic Universe. And now he's over here in the Marvel Universe. Uh, because that's how it works. So let's know in the comments who this new Miles is, and the best answer will be entered into the draw at the end of the month. All right, everybody, that is it for this week. Thank you for joining us for this monumentous episode, the 350th episode of Unboxing Wednesdays. We hope you'll join us all for episode 351 next week. Uh, remember, you can connect with us on any of the websites you see listed here on the screen. Take care and enjoy your comics this week, everyone.